Hello, whoever you are and wherever you came from, and welcome to your future. Now, you're probably wondering where exactly you are, and who exactly we are. Unfortunately, that's not something we can tell you at this point. The purpose of this short educational video is to inform you and your fellow inductees what you should expect from your new life here at the Foundation. First of all, you will be given a unique personal identification number tattooed directly onto your chest. We wouldn't want you to lose it, would we? <laughs> this will become your new name, you, and every one of your colleagues will be referred to henceforward as Class D. The D stands for delightful. <laughs> now that you're equipped with your new identity, what's next? Well, this is where the fun begins. Your purpose here is to accommodate your supervisor's demands. Those are the friendly guys with the guns. Such as cleaning up nasty messes, interacting with interesting characters, don't go off script, <laughs> making sure you're in tip-top shape, the infirmary is always open, and fulfilling interdepartmental deliveries, and much, much more. You couldn't ask for a more exciting working environment. If you successfully complete one month of rigorous Class D work, wait for it, you get to go home. No strings attached. You're free. I'd say feel free to come back and visit any time, but we can't tell you where we are. <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? Get out there and make us proud like your life depends on it. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. And most importantly, good luck. some work for you. Do me a favor and step out of your cell. Just follow me. Oh, and by the way, we're authorized to uh, exterminate any test subjects, so I'd recommend not doing anything stupid, all right? Friend, do you? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm definitely not a mind reader, otherwise I'd be locked up in this place, but let's just say it's pretty damn obvious. I mean, if you had one, you wouldn't be here in the first place. Normal people wouldn't find themselves in a place like this. You must be pretty weird or stupid to be here. But if I can make you feel better, there are SCPs here that you might like, such as SCP-056. I know it's not the best choice, but... In your situation, I don't think you really have a choice. I mean, you can't even speak, Skinner. so you should try. Well, we're here. Just get in there and follow all the instructions, and uh, you'll probably be fine. I mean, most of the time when I bring someone here, I never see them again. But uh, let's hope you're smarter than the others. Oh, and by the way, take this. You don't have to read the whole thing, but uh, do what you want. Attention all Class D personnel, please enter the containment chamber.
Please approach. SCP-173 for testing, please. Uh... Oh, why are the doors open, guys? I don't know. Someone find out what's going on. I'll contact maintenance team Bravo to get this checked out. Uh, sorry for the interruption. It seems we're having problems with the door control system. Uh, the door isn't responding to any of our attempts to close it, so... Please maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 and wait for further instructions. This is the stupidest place I've ever seen. It's just a statue. It can't even move. It's ridiculous. Attention all personnel and Class D personnel. The situation with the door control system is taking a long time for a response. We will extract all three of you out of the containment chamber back into your cells once maintenance teams have arrived. What the hell is that? Are we having an alarm test or something? Let me check my data pad right quick. Something is showing major electrical issues down in the heavy containment zone. What is this? Take a look at this, Aldrin. Something's not right. Hey, Chief Franklin, what's going on up there? I don't know. Something's wrong with the electrical equipment. I can't get access to the system right now. Focus on the SCP and the Class Ds as I will try to re-establish connection. Hey, guards. What should we do down here?
Doc, this is Epsilon 11. We've passed Trigger. Area appears to have multiple Euclid and Keter level containment breaches to an unknown degree. Moving in to reconnoiter the new area. Over. Roger that. Proceed with caution. I wonder what'll happen after this, man. I don't know. Let's just get this over with. No turning back now. Let's do this. Okay. Television. 